Panasonic. Ideas for life. Well, my background is I probably do 120 swimmers a day and um, within that I coach a couple of Olympians in the able-bodied sector and also um, I coach a young lady called Sophie Pascoe and yeah, very, very busy life, 5.30 in the morning on the coaching deck and I go home at 8 o'clock at night. So anyone who thinks coaching's easy, it's not. I've been invited here by the um, disability organization to um, help them with their swim program. Obviously, um, we've just had Olympics, London 2012, and it's about three and a half years through to Rio. So um, here, looking at the local talent and the potential. We're on our third session, and yes, there is, is um, potential here, just how it's managed. Rio, that is in three and a half years. So, you know, it's like climbing a ladder. You have many steps, and these guys are at the bottom of the ladder, and very, with a lot of potential, and it is going to world champs next year, which are in Canada, and then the year after that, going to another meet, so that they tested one year's training, and then they get a chance to swim at the meet, and when you PB, that means you're making progress, taking several steps up that ladder towards qualifying for Rio as number one. And then you get to go to Rio. Um, is It would be really neat if they were, like in most countries around the world, they are integrated with able-bodied. So that in able-bodied programs, they swim in able-bodied programs. So they're treated no different. So that's number one. So they have to go and train with people of similar ability in the lane and do the same things and go to school and uh, do normal things. you've got a great organization you've got three vans and you've got um, good organizers and I think um, it's not just the uh, people keep saying the swimming or the yachting or whatever sport it's not down to them it's up to the organization everyone to change gear and if you know what changing gear means to lift the level Okay, when we're talking Olympic Games, we're talking of the highest level, whether it's able-bodied or disabled. When we're talking about competing in the Asian Games, Pacific or things like that, we're talking of a low, lower level, which is development, which is really cool. That's where people like this need to go to, and then they take a next step from there. You understand that? So the organization needs to move forward with some good structure, to help these athletes also move forward. Not just um, everyone sit back. I'm not saying this in a bad way, I'm saying this in a very, very good way, is that everyone needs to move in that positive direction. And that means these guys training harder, and that means everyone has to have a better structure to um, fulfill 
these guys like if they do become to the Olympics and so on they don't just arrive there because it happened they need to arrive there because the structure of the organization you've got damn good um, S14s here which I think is a really credit to the organization where they've gone out and identified young athletes um, with a disability and have got a structure like what's in place here working with them but these are very talented people so um, the coaching structure has to stay ahead of them not just stay the same otherwise they will stay the same well like I said before you've got S14s and you've got there's two very good boys here and a girl with potential and there's another boy I understand I see him somewhere around the world who's here in Singapore but training in another program um, who's also quite good and so yeah you, you, your strengths are in that area is 14. Well you'll find more about the athletes what they can cope with and what they can do and I guess they find out more about themselves and then Joel also working beside each other can also pick up maybe a few hints. Well that, that would, the ideal thing would be to do this on a yearly basis as the athletes get better and not that they you know as they progress that um, we come in and we see where they're at and give a little more advice in the coaching area and uh, also give them a very good workout.